Stevenage. I'm going to head down to the basement and see my coach, Ollie. I'm going to run through. The session will probably be hard tie pads and a lot of strategy for the fight coming up. Um, we're about four weeks, four weeks on Saturday. We'll be back out for the third pro MMA fight. Um, so yeah, today, today will be a hard session. Um, we've got a couple today. But yeah, four weeks out. This whole year is going to be busy. So this year I'm looking to have five fights in total. So yeah, just um, locked in, tunnel vision, no distractions, just focusing on greatness and that's it. So um, yeah, we're going to head over there and get some work in. So yeah, today we're going to be working on some fast hand work and then working on trying to set up the leg kicks. And then once we've gone from hands to legs, we'll start moving on to some knees and elbow work, working on through the tire clinch sort of drills. Uh, and then working on to some hard tie pad rounds to finish, blast him out. Yeah, we'll normally sort of, we'll sort of, depending on what camp he's in and what fight we're looking at in the opponent. But generally, when he comes down to me working with his, his pad work, mostly we start, always start with hands, get warm, get fired up. And then we start adding some kicks and knees, uh, clinching with my big game. So definitely working on the knees and elbows. And then making sure he's firing with his kicks, getting his tie pad work in getting the, the cardio blast as well that he needs, getting ready for a fight. With things like pads, um, you get like a language and a communication. You notice if somebody goes to a new pad holder, it takes them a little while to catch a flow. Um, you may see in some of the videos, there was points where I would go for a certain shot and it wasn't there and I'm able to pull it at the head because I can tell from the body that he's not in position. Um, so you catch these flows and you can almost like have a language of just your hands. Like I know cues where he just places his body and I can just flow from that. So I don't even need to hear uh, cues anymore. I can just see it in his in his body language and um, and things like that. And it's super important because then they learn what you do well, um, what you don't do well, what needs to be worked on. Like if you're not somebody who likes to move around and flow, say you're a very fundamental person and you start doing jumping, flying, it's just not it's not going to be right, you know. But you build that um, relationship with your coach over time, and ultimately that's where you start to excel because you can see everything that you need to improve. Uh, from each other over that time of being together in that, you know, so yeah, super important. Um, and that relationship that I've got with all in, in that, in those positions and the trust that he has. I can jump and spin and throw a kick millimeters away from his head and he, he won't flinch because I've done it so many times and he knows I'll, I'll never miss. So um, that allows me to be creative in certain pad situations, shadow shots. Um, and then I can shadow a shot like that and he'll be like, yeah, add that on. Um, so yeah, it's good. It's a good, important bit. Realistically, the fun element is the thing that's going to keep people involved in it, you know. Um, if there's no fun, then what are we doing it for? We all start because we love the sport. So the creativity is important. If you're wanting to compete and take it seriously, it's, um, it's vital that you build your foundations. So it's hard to start stemming off if your foundations aren't correct. You kind of think of it like a house, you've got to go brick by brick, build the foundations underneath it and then you can decorate it. And that's almost how I see um, the elements of striking and, and martial arts is that you create the fundamental solid, um, you get all that sorted, the structure, and then you can start experimenting with things. But in between that, um, accessory sessions and things like that, definitely have a play around. Find that creativity. Um, the thing that's like amazing or beautiful with martial arts is that everybody has different styles. If everybody just did the same thing, it, 
be kind of boring, you know. Um, and you can have world-class people with different styles. That's what's amazing. You take like a Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali, both world-class, completely polar opposite, different styles, you know. Um, so once you've built your foundations and stuff, have a play around, find, find your personality and your creativity and your flow. And your flow may be fundamentals. Um, and that's still flow and creativity in its own thing, figuring out how you can use that well. Um, so yeah, but yeah, ultimately you want to be having fun with what you're doing. Yeah, session was good, man. I love coming down and just getting like hard pads in, like high intensity. They're the kind of things that like build confidence when you're going into a fight. Um, those hard moments, like what you feel here and you're replicating that, that fight intensity and then still being able to go and just work through that. That builds that confidence, that comfort. Um, so I love coming down and getting that. And then as you see, we like experiment with a load of different techniques and stuff, fine tuning things. Um, a bit of creativity to open new positions and that. So it's a good mix. It's a good mix of the intensity which I need to build the confidence for the fight and then the good creativity that allows me to do what I do, you know? Um, yeah, so it's a good session. We're four weeks out um, from the first scheduled fight. Man, I feel like I could go tomorrow. Um, I feel like I can do all this again. You know, this was a, a tough 90-minute uh, pad session and I'd, I'd go again. Um, and they're the things that are helping me build confidence going forward is that I know that I've got this gas tank that will just, just keep going and that's only coming from this dedicated hard work, um, this tunnel vision, no distractions, just being stuck into this, um, no outside distractions of anything, you know, like I'm doing everything that I know I need to do, so when fight night comes, there's no need for me to be nervous because I've done everything that I need to do and I can just let go and what will be, will be, you know, because I've done the work, so... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the fights and yeah, feeling in great shape.